What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at 7 types of salmon run players that you're going to run into or you've probably already have run into. Now without any further ado, let's begin. The Partier We've all seen this kind of player before. The player who uses their special at the very end of round 3 like it's some kind of rave party. You know what's better than a rave party? Actually using specials you were giving to meet the quota. Like I'm being chased down by mobs while I got missiles raining down on me and there's a stinger across the map looking at me like I'm their next kids meal. All in all, use a special, it makes for a much better easier time for everyone in the game. The dead player, <clears throat> me. This player is always dying to something. It could be because of rain, there was too many missiles, they didn't see the mobs below them, Small fry is too OP, steel eel sneaks up on them, dying to a steelhead explosion, couldn't move because they ran out of ink next to a, f a fish stick so a chump came by and just smack them, they got slammed by the slamming lane, they got smacked around like a ping pong ball, there was too many mentions. The Egg Snatcher Not as common as the partier, but this player will come up to you and take your eggs after you just defeated a boss by yourself. Now I get it if there's eggs next to a basket and there's a bunch of them next to a basket and you gotta put all into the basket at the same time as quickly as possible but anywhere else on the map and it's just three eggs right where you are. Three. I can take it by myself. You go and defeat some other boss. I can handle this. The Overfisher. This player is somewhat like the egg snatcher but they have to grab every single egg on the map even if it's three eggs on the shore, they will make it their number one priority to put all three of those eggs into the basket no matter what. They will even come up and take your eggs just to put in the basket a lot more faster. And then they're gonna go and defeat another boss and put those eggs in as, as soon as possible. There is no stopping this kind of player. The Boss Killer this player just goes around the map and defeating as many bosses as possible, totally forgetting to put eggs in the basket. They might put one or two eggs in the basket from the pile, but if they see a boss they can quickly defeat, they will go there and forget all about the eggs and they will die. Oh boy. When they die, they spam help me like there is just no tomorrow at all. The professional. <laughs> this player thinks they know exactly what they are doing and knows how to play the game as good as possible. They go as far as making YouTube videos to show other players how to play Salmon Run but hardly even follow any of the tips they made themselves. If anything, you could call this player all rounder. They are a mixture of everything on this list. The hoarder, the boss, the overfisher, you name it, they do it. But don't be fooled by these types of players. With a good team, you'll be scoring well over 100 eggs. The Lever no, not that lever. I'm talking about someone who leaves in the match right after it finishes. You could have had the best game with this player, but when it's time to press continue, you find out that everyone on your team left you. And you're just sitting there wondering what went wrong or what did you do wrong yourself. But don't worry about these players. They probably had to go and do something. Like poop all the time. All at the same time. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a little short fun video I made. Um, Not much to it. I had to put out something. Anyway, if you like Simon Run, if you like Splatoon in general, please leave a like. And if you want to see more Splatoon content, feel free to subscribe. It's free and it helps me out a lot. And I appreciate everyone that watches these videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.